Okay, so the basic concept is this egg sinker right here, half ounce. And when we cast it, the egg sinker starts like that. Our croaker will be right there. And once it lands, the croaker, if we, if we want to give him slack, he can take it. If we feel the thump, uh, like the bite, then we can put the rod tip down, let the flounder or red or whatever it is, but mainly flounder, he can take that line without feeling the weight. And then after like maybe a couple of seconds, uh, you give, give him like five 1,000, 10 1,000. 10 1,000 is kind of pushing it, but a five 1,000, you'll be good. And you don't set the hook. You just basically, you, you reel until you feel the tension and then just lift it up because we're using a circle hook and it won't get their guts or their throat. So this will get their corner of their mouth and just keep constant uh, tension. If you do want a, a somewhat hook set, you'll be fine doing that as well. So basically get our croaker. Say ah, uh, buddy. Sorry guys, we, uh, the GoPro battery ran out and Christian just be careful with the, the reel. Nice, nice little flounder. <laughs> we were thinking that we were gonna get skunked. Look at that, look at that nice. Great. All right, so that's the first fish of the day. The battery ran out on the GoPro and I was preoccupied with trying to get a backlash out of the second rod. And uh, yeah, I didn't do the battery swap, but we are at the Galveston South Jetty. It's East Beach. A lot of y'all keep asking, go to Google Maps, look up the South Jetty. You're probably not gonna find it, but it's on East Beach. So uh, that's where we're at. We're using Croker because that's all the bait shops have. Nobody's got finger mullet. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a good go for like maybe another hour or two, see if we can catch any more and hopefully be able to string together a few catches to present y'all with a decent video. See how perfect that hook set was with the circle hook? I don't understand why people refuse to use circle hooks with, you know, letting the flounder just take and eat it and then still expect to let it go. It's just, oh, oh, oh. Got him. That's, he's got some weight, son. Better going under that big old dang, uh... Ha ha. Thought you was just gonna take it, huh, Mr. Flounder? Okay, so. He didn't even get the bait. I know. <laughs> So about down here. That's probably why I didn't get bit. Oh man, <laughs> the croaker swam away. Little tiny flounder. Son, you need to go down there and get some flea lice treatment. And the good thing about doing this right here is once we feel the tension, like I didn't feel a bite, I just felt the tension. It was like I started feeling it. Well, so, I feel him get sketchy and then the tension. Yeah. Well, I felt mine get sketchy a little bit. So he was getting antsy moving around, but then it was stopped. And then next thing you know, the tension goes on the line. So you drop the rod Slowly. tip. No, you just drop the rod tip and you're allowing the flounder to swim with it. Next thing you know, uh, once all the tension, once you go all the way down and there's no more tension to take up or let him have, you just apply the steady up pressure to get the hook in the corner of the mouth and then pierce it. The uh oh, there we go. There it is. He's got it, son. I felt the two thumps. I just want to start feeling tension. Oh yeah, he's got it. No, he let it go. Dang. Oh wait, no, he let it go. Oh man, he had it though. Oh wait, no, he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> he's <a> slow <laughs> All righty. Oh damn it. 
shook off your my glass. heat. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> Dude, you got it. A grip? No, Papa, I got it. That is a good hook set right there. Look at that, everybody. Perfect hook set. Got that salt water in my mouth. Perfect hook set. Any last words? <laughs> He's like, put me back. That was a good keeper. What time is it? 12.40. Yeah, let's get out of here. That is gonna do it. Gotta get some my blood warmed up. Probably bringing yours back in. Yeah, that's right. Buddy, you hung in there like a champ, and we're gonna let you go. Just don't hook me. Hey, 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 I need you to chill out. Y'all want to watch as we do the honors of releasing this golden croaker. But he's he's like the ultimate survivor. Will he swim away? Well, that's why we weren't getting any hits because that dude. I was thinking that he was kicking around and everything. He ain't even got it in him to fight. He's probably trying to beg for a flounder to come get him. Nah. Well, no, he's still swimming a little bit. Yeah, you got it, man. Go, go. Come on, fight. Come here. I mean, you want to go back in the bucket? He might. He might come, too. He's like, I kind of have a big hole in my head. <laughs> All right, that wraps up another successful trip out there at the jetties using croaker for the first time ever to catch flounder. Not bad. I tend to still favor the finger mullet because they're just a bit more hardier in my experience. They stay alive a lot longer. And uh, either way, being able to catch them flounder, awesome, awesome with my son. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And for all of y'all that are interested in the gear that I use to include the rig, the weight, the hook, the leader line, all of that's gonna be listed in my video description down below. Check it out. If you make a purchase by going to one of those links, I just need you to know that the channel will earn a small commission, so you would definitely be helping me, and uh, I appreciate that support. All right, that will do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.